Hello and welcome, you amazing person. My name is Rob. I'm the Manning Gaming Guy, and today we're going to be playing some automation to car combi tycoon game. This is going to be a bit of a different twist to my normal style of this video. Um, I'm going to do this dirty style. It's going to be barely any editing, and you're going to see all the juicy bits of me tuning and all the fails and all the glory that we're going to have while building this car. Uh, it's not going to be in the campaign. Um, I'm going to be building this car specifically for speeding around in BeamNG like a complete nutter. As that's something I seem to like to do. I also create crazy fun maps in BeamNG. Feel free to um, venture over to my channels and try and find that. There's a collection of some of my cars. Um, I don't have many because I've upgraded my PC recently. So these are just my newer ones that I've been starting to make. But today we are going to be starting fresh and creating a completely new model. I'm not quite sure what I want to go for, to be honest. Um, I was thinking, I'm going to put the car model up anyway, just because we get all the advancements. I'm thinking we do some sort of old school car, old school sporty car from like, what, 80s, 80s, 90s, 70s, somewhere around there. I'm going to get rid of these mods. I don't want it to be a mod body. If you guys can follow along then. We're in the noughties at the moment. Uh, 70s. Okay. Uh, wheelbase. Definitely less than 3 meters. I'm thinking. Um, tell you what. I'm thinking we're going to go mid-engined in this one. Uh, and I think no more than 2.5. So we'll look around this sort of body shape. And I'm thinking mid-engined or do. I'm thinking either GT sort of car or. DMT sort of car, D, D, DTM is it? No, I can't remember. Well, we were in the 80s. 87 is normally a good year. Just, hmm, what do we pick? So obviously uh, this little video, I think that's a nice one. I think that's the one I've just done though. There's the MR2. So we do an MR2, mid-engined MR2 sort of thing. Okay, we'll go for that. Uh, we're going to make it super light and super crazy uh, to drive and fondness. Uh, you, I'm going to try and keep it basic, but also show you a few advanced tricks that you can do in the game if you're planning to watch this to learn. Which I hope you are, because I'm a bit of a tutorial guy. Uh, it's carbon fibers, could be super light um, and reasonably strong. You've always got your graphs up here, pay attention to them, because if you actually play the campaign, the prices will go up and it will affect your sales and stuff, depending on what you put on. I'll probably go, go for oh, semi semi spaced frame, sure. Aluminium shashi, sure. And it's going to be mid transverse, if it's going to be like an MR2. Are they transfers? Yeah, yeah, they definitely are. They sit a little bit to the right. Um, and we're going to go for crazy suspension with push rods all around. Mental. And we're cranking up the quality. Did we crank up the quality on the bit before? Or is this the first one? Not sure we have it. I don't have sections. Okay, confusing. Uh, quality. We're going to put the quality to 10. We're going to make this a really kitted out MR2 sort of style thing. With probably too much power. Uh, new engine, so you get to see me do that straight in four. I'm going to make this a i4 engine, because that's what they've got in it. But we are going to make ours a turbo. Just for extra fun, juicy powerness. Um, and the engine name, um, 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 engine fun times. Sure, why not? Uh, here we go, and we're in the new studio. Lovely. Looks very fresh and clean. Inline four magnesium block. Two liter. Do you think we can put anything bigger in there? So we go bigger. Let's let's, raise, let's bore it out, but keep the stroke the same, so we can keep the revs high, but then just increase the amount of juiciness. It'd be nice to get like a two point five. We got we can get up to a three liter in this. We'll give it two point five. Two point five liter dual overhead cam. We'll go for five valves. Sure, why not? Aluminium silicon is not a real thing i'm pretty sure so we go for aluminium uh quality 10. so in this playthrough you know, we're going to be seeing me just basically crank up see look you think this is going to be a better one but you are losing revs uh but you get more torques i'm going to probably go for the billet still uh, i'm pretty sure titanium is what we want forge light is definitely what we want i'll put balance shaft in but i crank this right down and then i'll tune it by moving it up and i'll keep an eye on my throttle and quality 10. So I'm hopefully, yeah, I'm going to tune this first naturally aspirated so you get to see that happen. And then I will tune it 
um, with a turbo. So you can see that happen. I'm going to keep the process exactly the same as I would normally do. I like this thing to hit around 8,000. That'd be nice. Quality 10. Uh, turbocharger, not yet. Let's put you up there before I forget to change you. Injection, direct injection, um, which is yeah, it's, it's new technology, I guess. I don't particularly like direct injection, but we've got to have it. Uh, I think we should go for some ethanol. E85, there we go. Rich it right up. So your fuels, um, they're pretty self-explanatory when you go through them, really. You can tell just by going up the quality. You've got nitrous in there. I don't think that is nitrous when you get to push a button. I think that just means nitrous is being slowly fed into the engine. Or is it meth? I can't remember, actually. You've got methanone. You've got gas. I don't know. Anyway, I only ever use like two or three of them. So I don't expect me to show you lots on that. Tubular race. Now, when I put the turbo on, we'll have to go back through some of these settings because it will change stuff. I tend to crank it up. I don't, I don't, I don't, not always. The exhaust will all be cranked up a little bit. We'll make it straight through so it's a noisy beast. But obviously, if you're playing the game properly, um, I'll be careful what settings you choose and stuff. You probably will want baffled and all that sort of stuff. We're already out of its nationally aspirated engine, making 335 brake horsepower. Um, and I haven't actually tuned it yet. So look, we're running proper rich. At, no, not, not it's not rich, is it? Is it rich? Or are we running lean? What one are we running? The engine has lots of unutilized octane, causing a higher compression. No, try higher compression. So if you watch this path, you, this is like the sea of blue, then you get like an little island that pops up in green. And the idea is you want to keep going until you get a bit of yellow. So that's still a bit greeny. Um, where is it? I can't even find it. There we go. There's, there's the yellow you want. You only just about want to see that. If not, just be slightly gone. So there you go. We've already gained a lot of horsepower. We've gained an extra 20 brake horse, uh, 22 brake horsepower. But these lines are still not tuned up right. So what we do, we go back to exhaust. I tend to do it backwards rather than forwards. We get the exhaust. So that's perfect. But I like to have a bit of a noisy exhaust. I can keep the exhaust about there. Headers need to come down, which is the green line. You've got these little diagrams up here to show you which one's the which so we're going to put that up to there and then we go back and then we find a manifold size so we could create change that and then we're going to crank that up to there now the blue line is up to you if you want to be the car efficient like fuel wise but not as so much with power wise you'd have it close up to here but if you want to crank the engine up to the max you'd probably maybe push the blue line down and the way you do that is actually with your valve timing uh, if you've got VVL, you'll have a kink in it. Um, obviously, this engine hasn't. Sorry, I can't show you that. Um, but you can um, have normal compression, so the car doesn't waste so much fuel, but it when it gets up to a certain amount of revs, it will change the, the cam profile, and then it will start bombing it uh, in the fuel capacity-ness. So we're up to 8,000. That looks pretty good. Now, to test my stiffness, I tend to go down, and then you'll start seeing the droopiness. So we've got... Probably about right stiffness there, but I'm going to crank it up a few times until that white that circles there. But normally your graph shouldn't look like this. Your blue line should dip off and, um, you know, you have your little stress points. But obviously this engine is pretty cranked up. So we are having a, a beautiful straight line to straight to the top. No kink off at all. Compression still looks good. So this engine, near enough, is ready to go. Cam profile is up to you. Like I said, um, that's this blue line. So if you want it to have it more sporty, you can crank it up and you'll get a bit more juice at the top, but you'll lose a bit of compression at the bottom. Um, but if you're racing, you try not to be at the bottom anyway. You just have a slow pull-off. But uh, yeah, and it makes the blue lines go up and obviously this stuff needs to be improved and blah, 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 blah. But we're going to keep ours probably about here, I think. So a bit juicy, a bit less down there. All right, compression wise, can probably maybe be changed, but that's it. That was that's our natural aspirated engine. Um, we can you, you can pay attention to the stress level things. I tend to not pay, to pay attention to horsepower, um, but yeah, keep these all green as possible. Uh, this is basically just the airflow that we're sorting out here, so that links up to this bit here. They all look fine if they're going red or too hot, you may want to increase the size of things like i guess here yeah we, we could sort of actually can go bigger the headers maybe not too big and then we can maybe crank up manifold by one there we go and then when you go to these they've actually all, all gone a bit more healthier
So there we go. We've actually got this engine up to 397 brake horsepower and naturally aspirated. Now that's actually a beautiful number for me. We don't really need to stick a turbo on this. Um, I kind of don't want to stick a turbo on it. That seems like a nice amount of horsepower. Depending on how light we can get the car to go. But here we are. So we're we'll sticking a turbo on. So we're sticking a turbo on. So we're going to stick a turbo on with Smart Boost Intercool Straight Up. Only reason I do the Intercool Straight Up because it just looks stupid when it's like at its ideal size, probably about this. Um, which is normal. Yeah, your intercools are quite small, but we'll, we'll, go, we'll go for that. We'll go for a reasonably sized overkill intercooler. And now, look, we've got a lot of problems going on. So we probably should go through the parts to make sure everything has been changed correctly. It is all sitting on what it should be. Yeah, it all looks fine. Okay, so let's sort out the compression first. Whoa, look at that redness. Let's go right, crank this right down. It's normally around 10 ish. So we're at 11.6, and it looks not too bad of compression. So we're sitting around there for now because we're not actually tuned much else. The, turf, the exhaust, for some reason, is now not big enough. So we're going to make that a bit bigger so it can get the exhaust gases out of the turbo. That's sitting fine. That's sitting fine. Headers are sitting fine. Fuelness, the manifold size can be brought down, so we say. I don't know why I said fuelness, it's the intake and all that sort of stuff. Okay, so the lines, they're fixed. You're all looking not too bad. This is your stress levels, trying to stay out the red, which we're doing very all rightly. I like to see where my turbo is kicking in. And it's kicking in just after 3,000, which isn't too bad. We do have some stress levels at the top of the engine now, so let's sort out the springs and lifters. Let's uh, just add a few more of them on. Now, if you look at the uh, the horsepower go up, which we can keep going up at some point, it will just start going back down. So we can find the horsepower peak, which is 732. So that looks in light, a nice uh, com engine. The compression's apparently not happy still. Of utilized flowness. So, what's it want to go back down? I'm guessing. It's just changing the valves. Not changing my compression. I don't know how to sort that out then. I'm sure I did know how to do that. I'm gonna rank, rank that back up. Yeah, I'm gonna ignore how hot that's getting anyway. It's probably to do with flow levels and stuff. Um, and the fact that we've overcooking the engine. If you look at the horsepower, it's meant to be allowed um, at 350. We're now way over double so um it's probably upset about that more than anything but everything else is okay um if you're struggling with all these they're not hitting the numbers you want um obviously you'll have to change the piston quality and the head quality to get really high numbers and obviously the quality settings and then you'll see all this start to change if you're not able to get too high numbers so there we go a nice beautifully tuned engine i'm just having a little think and a look around yeah it's balance mass so we're at 100 throttle and this is at 40 percent throttle response not very nice so we want to find a sweet spot where it says a 100 just before it starts going down there we go there you go 100 that's my perfect sort of thing loudness oh it's loud now uh smoothness apparently it's not smooth but follow response is okay reliability yeah we're okay with all that I don't pay attention to half these figures, but they're there for you to get geeky if you want to get geeky. Compression looks a little bit high again now. Let's just, just drop that down a little bit. There we go. We're not sitting in the red. I think that is a engine ready to go. 8,000 revs, got a turbo, um, and also you can find your stats over here. It weighs 136 kilograms. It's not too heavy. The fuel is pretty tasty. Compression 12, yeah, joy overhead cab, five foulness, 2.5 litre, sounds good to me. Where's, wait a minute, wait a minute. This is what I was meant to click on. I'll let you guys um, hear it, I guess. Let me change some settings on my OBS so you can't hear me as much. It does sound a bit like a tractor, but um, 
later on when it comes to the final product of this car we will be changing the sound of the car anyway so that's not too important but you've got to hear it from automation so uh, um how far are we into 15 minutes well, that's gonna be part one i reckon part one is doing the engine and then uh, part two, we're going to be changing the body shape a little bit and putting some suspension on and making it look cool that way. And I guess part three... Oh, I suppose we've got the tuning side of things as well. We'll probably tune the suspension and stuff in part two and put all those tasty parts on here to come. And then part three will probably be the detailing where we make this actually look like a car rather than just a red square thing. And then part four will be like some coding. Uh, we'll do the coding for you where um, I'll, I'll change all the light brightness and we'll do the dash gates and um, we'll do all the tail lights. In the we'll make them look the brightness they should look like when they've been exported into BMNG. And we'll do all the sounds as well. We'll change the sounds and we'll make sure all the particles will come out of the right place and that they're really big and juicy. So, yeah, thank you very much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this little video. Um, and um, I'll see you all in the next one. Oh, yeah, don't forget to name your car. So the model is whatever you want your model to be. I've always named mine Manic. You could be maybe copying a BMW or a Vauxhall or maybe even a Citroen. Who knows? But it's up to you. This one's going to be called... Um, um, but the original one's an MR, MRS is what I'm copying. So we call it the MR... MR Sue. The Mr. Sue. There we go. Uh, engine fun times. Yep, there we go. So I will see you all in the next video. Keep it real, stay safe, and share that love. Bye-bye.